How's it going guys? I'm Mario Armani, broker and owner of Armani Realty, and I'm really excited to be back again after such a long time with another episode of Getting to Know, where I feature some of my friends and past clients who run their own businesses right here in the community. Today, we're at European Auto Body, they're a premium auto collision center here in Vaughan. They're part of the R Ferry Automotive Group, which currently own BMW Marinello, Ferrari of Ontario, among many other dealerships right here in Canada. So sitting beside me, these two fine gentlemen, I got Manuel DeLuca and Marco Ferry. They're actually the, uh, the sons of the owners. And uh, I'm very happy to be here, guys, and talk a little bit about your business. Thanks, Mario. Pleasure to be here. So, Funny little stat, this year actually marks 20 years since the first time that I personally brought my first car to be repaired at, at a European. So these guys have been in business a long time. I've kept them in business because I'm, I haven't had the best luck with, uh, with cars as Manuel already knows. So guys, uh, thank you so much once again and tell me a little bit about your business. So we're European Auto Body. Um, I'd like to say we are an industry leader. Um, we're branded uh, with many manufacturers. My father started the business in the early 90s. Um, during that time, he was doing work for the R Ferry Automotive, which at the time they had Ferrari, Alfa and BMW. Later, uh, in the late 90s, they officially became partners and uh, we catered to that group in general, plus to the public that's within our area or even insurance partners that have customers uh, that we can service as well. Yeah, that's really great. So at the end of the day, it's great to see your father starting the business and now both of you guys are here. So for my next question, your father's owned this business. Was it something that you guys always wanted to get into or something that just happened? I started doing other jobs first and then I sort of just drifted back into this world. Uh, it was just meant to be, I guess. Uh, I enjoy working with uh, all vehicles. Uh, the people that come with it and uh, so I'm happy with my choice. And not to mention that it's something that you guys can continue to build that legacy for let's say your kids one day right so realistically speaking there's a lot of body shops in the entire GTA but what sets European apart from all of the rest? We want to we wanna put ourselves always as a leader in the industry so with that we gear ourselves with the right equipment uh, we built the shop this new shop uh, about three years ago uh, with the latest technology. And I have to say, like your shop is in, like, extremely impressive. I've never been into a shop that's been that clean. Like it's just incredible how organized and, and I guess you have to be with the amount of volume of cars that you guys have coming in like on a daily basis, right? Yeah, well, those are just little details that kind of portray what we were about. Um, we try to be as efficient as possible. Um, and I can imagine because you guys also work on so many luxury vehicles, you guys hold yourselves to a much higher standard, let's say, than a lot of other shops. Like not to say that other shops are bad, but you guys are kind of used to working on those high quality vehicles, right? So I'm guessing you guys have that same process even for vehicles that are of a much lesser value. Basically, the difference between us and another collision center really is not the job that we're doing because we're all doing the same job, is, is the service that we give to the client and, and the trust that the client gives us that we're going to do a proper job. We'll always do the best thing for that client in that vehicle to put them back in that vehicle safe. Um, customer service is number one. Um, we expect people to leave like they're one of us, one of our families. Um, so we always go over and above. And I really felt that like, so once again, I've given European Auto Body a lot of business throughout the years. Uh, so firsthand, I've seen their process and I can definitely tell you that when you come in, you always feel like you're taken care of. So uh, I, I would definitely vouch for everything that Manny's saying. So you guys have been here quite a while. What's your favorite thing about working here? Uh, it's the staff for sure. The staff, uh, The people okay. that work here, uh, just every day you come to work, everyone wants to be here, everyone's happy. Everyone has a relationship with each other and you feel that I feel if you're the customer. And I can totally feel that because um, every time that I come to the shop, just everybody's nice to you. And it's, it's almost like you look forward to coming to the shop and saying hi to everybody and just everybody's so warm and it, it, it is a family environment. And obviously it makes sense because it's a family business and I guess you guys transmit that to everybody else. So to wrap up the video guys, um, you guys are the two gentlemen that are going to be leading this business into like the next realm of growth. What are, what, what's one goal that each of you have for this business? So when it's all said and done and it's your time to hang up your hat, what's the one thing that you guys want to kind of leave and, and accomplish by the time you leave the uh, body shop? 
So I got more than one. One is uh, is to have more more locations to service uh, other areas. Okay. Um, that would be a good, hopefully short term, but long term, the ideal situation would be a place that we can have our kids to come and take over like we're doing for our parents. Of course, and that's a, that's a very admirable goal. That's something that I always, uh, it's a personal goal in my own business as well. So mm -hmm. definitely agree with that. Marco. Uh, in addition, uh, continue being an industry leader okay. uh, and just sort of being there for all the customers in the area, even outside the area, if they want to come see us and uh, helping people. And that's very interesting because it's like they say, it's not enough just to get to the top. You got to like, you got to stay at the top, right? Yeah. So you got to keep working hard. Yeah. So I, I, I couldn't agree with you more, Marco. And this goes to show you guys what type of people they are. They're not just worried about what's happening now. They want to continue just being those top dogs and making sure that everything is the way that it needs to be, right? All right, guys, so before we wrap up the video, we're gonna have a little bit of fun. We're gonna do something that I like to call the Mario's Minute, where I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fire off a bunch of questions, and you're gonna have to choose based on the, on the answers that I give you, and then we're gonna move on to the lightning round, where I'm just gonna say a bunch of words, and you're gonna say the first thing that comes to mind, okay? So you guys ready? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay, ready. let's do it. I'm gonna start off with an easy one. Manny, why don't you do the first ones? Ferrari or Lamborghini? Ferrari. <laughs> easy one, right? Sure. <laughs> Flying or driving? Flying. You better watch out because your wife's going to watch this one. Blondes or brunettes? Brunettes, brunettes. Riches or happiness? Happiness. Vomiting or diarrhea? <laughs> oh, diarrhea. Oh, really? <laughs> I can play on my phone while I'm on the diarrhea. <laughs> Wine or beer? Neither. Morning or evening? Mornings. Coffee or tea? Tea. Pasta or meat? Meat. Batman or Superman? Oh, Batman. All right, lightning round, score. Points. Tiger. Cat. Wiener. Dog. Long. Short. Blue. Red. Strong. Weak. Trudeau. Okay. <laughs> really? <laughs> Car. Fast. Rub. Shine. Tea. Coffee. <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. Once again, European Auto Body, 70 Whitmore Road in Vaughan. Gentlemen, thank you so much thank for being you. a part of this craziness. So guys, if you need any collision work, European's a place to go. I personally vouch for them and I guarantee you won't be disappointed.